This one is very squirty. Today you're gonna learn how to make a hot winter drink that I call Liquid Lotus Biscoff. Imagine your favorite Lotus Biscoff spread in a liquid drinking form. That's basically what this drink is. This hot winter drink is another delicious recipe of my own creation. I created it back in 2018 to be included in our winter drinks collection, and it was a big hit. And when I created this drink and put it on the hot winter drinks menu, I had no idea how many Biscoff fans there truly were out there. Like myself and you. No, yeah, you, you. Yeah, right there, watching me. You're a Biscoff fan, right? Yeah? It's not just me. People just love Lotus Biscoff. I'm always out looking for inspiration and new ideas. And when I saw that the Lotus Biscoff came in a spread form, I said to myself, I gotta make this into a drink. There's a type of cookie called Speculoos, which is a very important cookie of the Dutch around winter time. And because the Biscoff has a very, very similar flavor, I decided to make this into a hot winter drink. This is one of those hot winter drinks that when a customer came in and they were a Biscoff fan, they ordered it right away. So I definitely think that you are gonna like this hot winter drink as much as everybody else. So let's get started on this Biscoff cookie overload. So Biscoff has been around for a long time. And for some reason, a couple years ago, it just went crazy. Everyone on social media was creating stuff with Biscoff cookies and Biscoff spread. It was like the world could not get enough of Lotus Biscoff cookie, especially the spread. So actually when I went out these last couple days, I was trying to just source the very original basic Biscoff cookie and I couldn't find it anywhere. They were sold out. And what I did find was a whole new set of Lotus Biscoff items. Eventually though, I found the original and I got them in the little individual packets, which many people here serve with afternoon tea or go over to your grand's house and she offers you tea. It will definitely come in one of these little individual packets for you to have with your tea with little old granny. So I'm not sure what the options are around the world, but I know here in England, people are obsessed with the Biscoff flavor and there's loads of different options of items that you can pick up in order to be creative with. So if you are a Biscoff fan, I definitely think you're gonna like this drink. So let's go ahead and get started with the Biscoffness of it all. So many of these main ingredients here, they are restaurant quality grade bubble tea shop ingredients. I did create this for my bubble tea shop. So basically that's why they use these products. But if you are making this at home and you don't have access to these and you don't own a bubble tea shop, then you could probably just go to your grocery store and find things that are really, really similar. So let's say for example, the um, creamer powder, I would recommend going more for a half and half creamer if you're in America or whipping cream. Um, if you're in England, maybe some single cream, just something that's really, really thick and dense with the creaminess. So basically what I'm trying to say is that you can still create this drink even if you don't have the bubble tea shop ingredients, but if you do have a bubble tea shop, then this will be a cinch for you. So first we're gonna do two scoops of the creamer. And this brown spoon is just an industry standard bubble tea shop scoop. It's about a tablespoon. And next is one scoop of vanilla powder. And then seven milliliters of fructose syrup. And next, my favorite part, a giant heaping scoopful of the Lotus Biscoff spread. And that is a heaping scoopful. Bon appetit. No, 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 I'm just kidding. It's going in the drink. Aha, uh -huh. got my eye on me. And next we wanna boil a kettle because we want some really hot water. If you're liking this video so far, please be sure to click that like button below. It helps me to get my video ranked. Thanks so much. Okay, so we'll need 300 milliliters of the really, really hot water. And I will put all of these conversions in the description below.
Now at this point, you wanna make sure that you give it a really, really good stir. We don't want any clumps of the Biscoff, obviously, while we're drinking it. And of course, the Biscoff, even though it is a spread, it is a very kind of dense spread, if you will. And being here in England, it's quite cold, so automatically it's a little more hard than as if you were in a hot or a tropical climate. So you just wanna use this opportunity to kind of go back and forth, kind of break it up a little bit really carefully because you are dealing with really hot water. Once you feel it melt down a bit, then you wanna start stirring it a bit quicker. This could take up to a minute in order to stir it and make sure that everything is really well combined. And now it is time to assemble our masterpiece. And take a little bit on a spoon here or a knife or something of the sort. And no, 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 it's for the glass. Kind of do a swirl around the glass sort of look. You can never have too much. and carefully pour it into the glass. Now, if you're in a bubble tea shop, of course you would just pour it into your bubble tea cup. And it goes great with toppings like boba, tapioca pearl, uh, pudding, even red bean would taste nicely with this one. But you wanna make sure that you're serving it to your customers approximately 50 to 55 C Celsius, because if it's much hotter than that, then they may burn their tongues and blame it on you. So just wanna be careful about that. But if you are at home, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just kind of take a sip and kind of feel it out here. You always wanna be careful when you're working with hot drinks. I'm really looking forward to this. And as always, for my hot, creamy, winter, milky drinks, I love a little bit of whipped cream. Well, I should say a lot of whipped cream. Woo! This one is very squirty. Look at that. Amazing. And I've crushed up some Lotus Biscoff cookie and we will just be very artistic in adding it to the top as much as you like because you can never have too much Biscoff. There it is, the masterpiece. Wow, look at this. I just cannot wait to try it. Honestly, it's been about a year since I've had this last winter and I really miss it. I honestly am just dying to just dig in and give it a try. I'm so excited. I love the Biscoff cookie. I've probably eaten six of them since I brought that pack home. Don't tell anybody. I just am one of these people that I just love really crazy, fun, amazing drinks like this. So let's just dive in and see how it tastes. Put a little bit of the uh, whipped cream on top here. Mmm, I love whipped cream. Oh, and by the way, if you get the squeezy Biscoff syrup, um, you can also put that on top. I did that in my shop, it looked really cool. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is phenomenal. I know I created the recipe, but I'm sorry, I just have to say this drink is amazing. This is just phenomenal. Nothing really, really tops it. It's so, it's so thick and rich and creamy. It's got that light Biscoff flavor to it. It kind of hits you in the beginning, kind of disappears in the background. You might think that by putting in the fructose and the Biscoff, it might be too sweet, but it's definitely not. It actually has a bit of sweet and salty savory, and maybe even a little bit of that umami sort of thing happening. It's just spot on one of these things that you just have to try. You have to try this drink. It's phenomenal. It's literally like drinking a liquid Biscoff spread, but not as if you had just heated it up on the stove and like drank it liquidy, because that would be kind of interesting, but really rich, really creamy. It's just got a really full body to it. Mm something that screams winter, holidays, friends, family, people coming over, just 
One of those drinks everyone should definitely indulge in. And this, folks, is why winter is once a year, because of wonderful drinks like this that you just can't get enough of. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I cannot wait for you to try making this drink at home. If you haven't already, please click that like button, be sure to subscribe, and definitely let me know in the comments section. Are you a Lotus Biscoff fan? Do you love Speculoos? Are you Dutch? If not, are you American? Have you ever had Biscoff before? Are you European? Is it something you grew up with? Going to your grand's house and having a cup of tea with her? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I am so, so curious. From one Biscoff fan to another, I'll see you again soon. Take care.